Hello buddy, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you all the changes, additions and fixes in Minecraft Snapshot 20W48A. It released one minute ago currently. So I was doing a live stream waiting for the snapshot to release. And so if you don't want to miss any future Minecraft update news, make sure you're subscribed and like this video as well. And make sure to tune into the next stream as well, it would be amazing to see you there. So 20W48A, what is it about? Well, the main feature here is Dripstone, yes. So if we go into our inventory, you can see there's a new compass texture as well. So they've added Dripstone, so we have pointed Dripstone and Dripstone block. So this right here is a Dripstone block and this is the pointed Dripstone, as you can see. These are the stalagmites and stalactites and well, they can go pretty high, as you can see right here. So, they form a stalactite if placed on the ceiling and a stalagmite if placed on the floor. So, here we go. Here you can see the stalactites and next to it the stalagmites. They're both in the game right now. And so, the stalagmites break if they're not attached to something. So, if you break this bottom block, they all break and they do drop their blocks. As you can see, all of them drop. And so landing or jumping on stalagmite hurts. Uh, they are sharp. So let's see that happening. Can we can actually place this? Yeah, we can place these on any blocks we want to. So there we go. And let's actually go into survival here. So that's like this, right? It's a new thing. Whoa! Okay, it it does a lot of damage. Even if you jump on it, it does damage. What? Okay, wait. Um I need to turn off the game rule, uh, let's see, oh it just says hit the ground too hard, I'm stupid. Yeah, so it's not a specific new death message, it just say hit the ground too hard. Let's see, next up we have stalactites fall down if not attached to something above. Yeah, so can we break something here? Whoa! Okay, yeah, that did do, that do some damage, yeah. Let's see if we can actually die from this. Um, I think the best way to do this is just jump up here, take some damage, there we go, and then place them over here, and break the top one, there we go, and then we should see the death message here as well, ooh, was squashed by a falling block is the death message there, and next up we have stalactites drip water, or lava if there's lava above the ceiling. Okay, let's see this happening. Let's actually see if there's the caves already. Don't think there are, but we can go down under the ground to see. Yeah, so first they'll need to change the cave generation before they can add the dripstone caves. So I don't think these spawn uh, randomly just yet. And yeah, no, I don't think uh, there are any dripstone or stalagmites, stalactites under the ground over here. So we can just experiment with them right now ourselves. So, there we go. Let's see this water dripping feature. So, let's get a cauldron. And let's put it under the stalactite. Is that? Yeah. Let's see if we can see this water dripping happening. So, I don't think there needs to be water above it. I think this automatically happens. But if there's lava above the stalactite, then it will start dripping lava. I think I just saw the water like a second ago. So, it should come up soon. Hopefully, maybe, no? Okay, let's just try the lava one then first. Let's put some blocks around here and let's put some lava on top of the stalactite to see if it starts dripping lava, which would be pretty cool. Um, here we go. And now just place some lava in here. And so I'm pretty curious to see if there's actually gonna be a, a cauldron of lava, like a lava cauldron, like there is in better condition. Okay, there we go, we have lava. And now we should see also lava dripping from this stalactite. Yeah, there we go, we got one drip, I think. It's not happening too often actually, I think it's happening like more often with the blocks around it than with the stalactite itself. So yeah, I don't know. It's not happening too often and we don't know if that's gonna be cauldrons as well. Uh, yeah, actually, <laughs> uh, we do know, I'm sorry. So. A stalactite with a water source above the ceiling will gradually fill up uh, a cauldron below with water and a stalactite with a lava source above the ceiling will fill up a cauldron below with lava. 
So let's actually do this. So this is the lava one. There is a lava source above there. Let's create one with water as well. So we can see that by the end of the snapshot video. If they've filled up with water or lava. So let's put some water in here. And there we go. Water all the way around. Put a stalactite here as well. And let's put a cauldron under here. Right here. So yeah, we'll see if they uh, fill up uh, at the end of the video. So next up we have that uh, thrown tridents can break dripstone. So let's grab a trident. And let's see if this is indeed possible. Yes, look at that. It immediately breaks the dripstone. And you get the dripstone back as well. It can even break the smallest one. So it can break every single type of dripstone. And there we go. That's what you can do with a trident as well. Um, let's see. Okay, so bundles have changed. Let's get a grab a bundle. Here's a bundle. And hey, you can now see the fullness. So it says 0 out of 64 fullness. So that's pretty awesome. Let's also grab some blocks. And now, if you put blocks into a bundle like this. And then right click it. Only one of the blocks comes out. And I think, um, maybe if you shift right click it. No, okay. So if you click the bundle, just one of the items comes out. I don't know if that's the same with like if you put 14 items in there. Yes. So you can't put, you can only like empty it one type of item at the same time, which is amazing because previously it just emptied out the whole bundle, which completely cluttered your inventory immediately again. So that's amazing. Um, uh, let's see. Okay, so if you use a bundle, it throws out its entire content into the world. So if you use it, yes, so there we go. If you right click it while it's in your hand, you throw out every single item that, that's in it. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> so right clicking the bundle itself like this just pulls out one of the items. But if you have it in your hand and then right click it, it throws all the items out of your hand onto the ground. I think it's pretty cool because then you can like put it into hoppers or maybe something like that. Like immediately put it into your sorting system. That's pretty awesome. Um, candles can now only be placed if there's a solid surface below. No! No! The floating candles have gone. Oh no. Ne there's, there's definitely no floating candles anymore. Oh, or is there? <laughs> Okay, there are still floating candles. They still exist. Okay, so we can still put floating candles if we just put a block. And then remove the block like this. Let's see if they if you up if they update them, if they don't fall. No. No. Okay, floating candles are still a thing, but I think this is gonna be patched out, right? Because Yeah. They don't want it, so I don't think that's going to happen. Or maybe it's uh, if it's like uh, pumpkins, right, for, for previously. You can't place them in the air, but you can put them in the air if you b break the blocks below it. I think that might be it. Um, next up we have uh, wearing any piece of ar leather armor now prevents freezing entirely. Okay, so we had the, um, the snow, the powder snow, of course. And if you stood it in, in it for too long, you would start freezing. But now if you just put on any piece of leather armor. Let's grab some leather armor. Leather cap. There we go. Go into survival. Go into the snow. You will see that you won't start freezing when you're inside the snow. But once I take this leather cap off, you immediately get the effect on the screen. And after a couple of seconds, my heart will become blue. And then I will start dying because I'm freezing. And I think... That's pretty much it. There's, there's also some texture changes we will go over in a second. There we go, I start freezing. And now if I put the cap back on, it stops and it gradually goes back to normal. All the way over here. There we go. Okay, awesome. So yeah, there's some texture changes as well. So amethyst has changed. That's not how you spell amethyst. Yeah, so last time we didn't really like these blocks, but I think they've changed them once again. Yeah, this looks much better. Let's actually go into an amethyst on the ground. See what it looks like in there. See if we can find one quickly. They should... I think they're more rare. What? I don't see any. Do amethysts not spawn anymore? Or is, am I just super unlucky? This is a bit strange, actually. Ah, there's one. There's one. Okay, I found one. 
Let's go in here. Let's give ourselves some night vision to see what this looks like now. Here we go. Let's give. Let no. Let's affect. Give me some night vision, because yeah, the previous texture was not great. So hopefully this is a bit better. Yeah, and this this texture is more logical as well because the crystals grow in this like cross pattern. So that's pretty cool. I still don't like the how how much it repeats the same pattern, but I don't think I can do anything about that. This is a lot better than the previous one, I think. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Then also the candles have a different texture. So yeah, this is the candle texture in the inventory, and we already did the black one. Let's do another co color this time, the normal candle maybe. And I don't think this texture has really changed. No. So I think it's mainly the one in the inventory then. So that's the texture that has changed. Then there's two more texture changes, and that's to clocks and compasses. Wow, yeah. That's definitely completely different textures. This is the compass, no, <laughs> the clock texture right now. It's a lot more gold than it used to be, actually. Yeah, pretty nice. And the compass we've already seen up here, but it has more of an iron tint at the bottom of it. I think they want it to be like more consistent with the other iron and gold items. So there we go, that's what the compass and the clock now look like. And then there's also some bug fixes. Let me see if there's anything important there. Oh, yes, actually. There was a trick that if you go into uh, water or lava, like at sort of uh, this height, it completely it, it becomes completely transparent. And they've removed this, so that bug doesn't exist anymore. That's I don't know if that's good because I've used this trick like a lot in uh, in my days, like to uh, see under lava and stuff like that. So it's actually a pretty useful bug, but sadly they've removed this one. So there we go. And let's see if there's any other important bugs. Uh, the spyglass uh, animation is wrong when swimming. Okay, let's check out the spyglass. Whoa! Okay, it also has a different texture apparently. It has a 3D texture in the inventory now, and also a 3D texture in your hand. Look at that! Okay, that's much better than it was. Wow, look at this spyglass, that's amazing. Okay, yeah, this seems pretty much the same. I think it zooms in a little bit less than before. I think that's about it. And so, yeah, this is what a spyglass now looks like. It's a 3D texture now in your inventory and in your hand as well. I think it looks pretty good actually. It looks pretty nice. And it's more like logical with this like square uh, thing you see when you uh, zoom in. So that's pretty normal, I think. Uh, let's see. There's some more bug fixes. Um, yeah, some bug fixes like uh, concerning to bundles. Um, ah, crafting copper blocks into slabs only yields four slabs instead of six. So if you now use copper blocks, so that's these over here or any of the other type of copper block. Oh, I think I think I've seen a bug here. Um, the way that copper block has a capital K. <laughs> That's so out of place. Yeah, it's also the only one that has that. Look at that. So we found a bug. That's amazing. Whether copper block has a K at the end, the capital K. That's definitely not how it's supposed to be. So let's grab a crafting table as well. And now we will see that if we try to craft some copper slabs. Like, eh, that's not how you craft copper slabs, right? There are no copper slabs. I'm stupid. It's the copper... Cut copper right that makes the slabs yeah so you now get six copper slabs if you put in three copper blocks which is the normal one they fix that um, let's see yeah so they also fix that uh, the freezing now uh, well gets stopped if you wear leather armor and I think that's pretty much everything here so let's see um, I think that's that's pretty much it for this snapshot. I'm just gonna see if anyone in the chat uh, already has some ideas with other things that have changed because of course there are lots of stuff that they don't mention like the spyglass texture change they didn't even mention that. Uh, I can check the other uh, patch note side as well to see if there's anything else over there. No it's not even on online yet. So let's see, uh, I'm just going to scroll through these textures pretty quick to see if there's anything obvious. 
and otherwise I might uh, well stop the video as well because I think we've went through everything then let's see I don't see anything immediately I'm also looking at it yet so people are saying that yeah it's a pretty small snapshot which I totally didn't expect right yeah it's so strange that they have like two week break and then a very small snapshot but and they were teasing with frogs right so they had like all kinds of different tweets where they said that there were gonna be frogs in the game but I don't see no frogs um, and I also don't see anything very obvious here with texture changes at the bottom there's gonna be the new block so yeah we saw the spyglass and of course new dripstone blocks that's the main thing that was added in this snapshot <laughs> you would have preferred no snapshot at all wow yeah it's so sad that it's tiny but I mean it's totally logical right because they have like six months for the uh, complete release so they just do tiny things every time to see what people think about them and then uh, yeah that's pretty much it there's no new tough texture I don't think so it's pretty much the same than the previous one and do we have anything else I don't think so yeah uh, we're gonna look at frogs but yeah no definitely no frogs And so, yeah, that was Snapshot 20W48A. It's a bit smaller than I expected, sadly, but yeah, that happens. So, I hope you still enjoyed this video, and I, uh, yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. If you wanna, don't mi want to miss out on future Snapshot info, microphone.17 info, then please make sure to subscribe and leave a like on this video. But there we go, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope to see you in the next one, so until then, bye-bye! Mm,